Well, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Doc uh, this morning on Wednesday, September the 8th. Glad you're here. We're looking at Joshua chapter 11 this morning and just kind of hitting a highlight and count, camping out on one particular verse, the verse I read to you yesterday. And uh, it we're going to find here as we delve into this that uh, there is a reward for obedience. When we obey what God says, when we obey God's commandments, God gives us the reward from that obedience. Now, look back again at Joshua chapter 11, verse 23, where the Bible says, So Joshua took the entire land just as the Lord had directed Moses, and he gave it as an inheritance to Israel according to their tribal divisions. And then the land had rest from war. Now notice that what came first was obedience. Obedience came first, and obedience was followed by rest. I told you yesterday there are two kinds of rest. There's physical rest, and we all need that. Nothing wrong with physical rest. And uh, my my kids sometimes laugh at me because they, they say that they see me sitting in my chair asleep. And, and yes, I'm, I'm doing what the Lord said to do, come apart for a little while and rest. And, and that's, somebody said one time uh, that, that if you don't come apart, you're going to come apart. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to come apart. So yeah, I do rest. I, I, sometimes the most spiritual thing you can do is take a nap. I hope you caught that from yesterday. And then there's spiritual rest. Now that's more what the the Bible, I think, is referring to here when it says the land had rest from a war. We're always going to be in a warfare if we're not obedient. But in the midst of the warfare, we're going to be in a warfare anyway. So why not be obedient in the midst of that warfare? Because when you, God brings us through that, then we get the rewards of obedience. Now, it's mentioned so many times here in the book of of. Uh, of Joshua, let me, let me read something to you if I can get my Bible here. Let, let me read just a few verses out of chapter 11. Uh, and uh, you don't have to turn to it, just, just listen. Joshua 11 and verse 9, we've, we've already read that, that Joshua did to them as the Lord had directed. Now pay attention to that. As the Lord had directed, he hamstrung their horses and burned their chariots. Now down in verse 12, Joshua took all these royal cities and their kings and put them to death uh, by the sword or put them to the sword. He totally destroyed them, listen, as Moses, the servant of the Lord, had commanded. Now there's two verses in addition to verse nine that, uh, that talk about what he has done and, and that he has done it in obedience to what the Lord said. Then verse 15, verse 15 says, as the Lord commanded his servant Moses, so Moses commanded Joshua and Joshua did it. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord had commanded Moses. So what premise is, is uh, Joshua acting on? The word of the Lord, what the Lord had told him. And then in, in uh, let me see, down in verse 20 again. In verse 20, he says, For it was the Lord himself who hardened their hearts to wage war against Israel, so that it might destroy them, totally exterminating them without mercy, as the Lord had commanded Moses. As the Lord had commanded. He's doing what God had commanded through Moses. And then, uh, let me see, there's one more, verse 23, the end of the chapter. So Joshua took the entire land. This is where we're reading from our verse that we started with. So Joshua took the entire land just as the Lord had directed Moses and gave it to it as an inheritance to Israel according to their tribal divisions. And then the land had rest from war. But did you get that? All of those verses repeat it one way or another that Joshua did what God had commanded. So God gave Joshua and the people the rest of obedience. Now, disobedience has its uh, uh, reward too. Uh, Hebrews chapter three 
Hebrews 3 and verse 16, listen, says, Who were they who heard and rebelled? Were they not all those Moses led out of Egypt? They heard the word, but they were not obedient. And he said, with whom he was angry for 40 years, was it not those who sinned, whose bodies fell in the desert? They got the reward of disobedience. And to whom did God swear that they would never enter his rest, if not to those who disobeyed? When you disobey, you don't enter into his rest. And he said, God said that they would not enter into his rest if they disobeyed. In verse 19 of Hebrews chapter 3, it says, So we see that they were not able to enter into rest because of their unbelief. <laughs> Folks, don't think that you can fool God and just get your time card stamped that you showed up for work. No, you show up for work, but you listen to what the boss says. You do what the boss tells you to do. When you show up to, to work with God, you say, Father, I'm listening. And you wanna hear everything that the Father says to us. And when we do that, then after we'll enter into rest. That's what he says here in verse 23. Then the land had rest for more. Do you have rest yet? Have you found rest yet? It just could be that there's no rest because of disobedience. Because when there's obedience, then the land has rest from war. So the first one that, that we see here, first kind of rest, is the rest that comes out of obedience. Now tomorrow, we'll look at the rest of it. <laughs> A little play on words there. See what it did? The rest of obedience. And tomorrow, we're going to talk about the rest of inheritance the rest of inheritance, but both the rest of obedience and the rest of the inheritance both come from God. So God bless you today. Have a great day. And we'll come back here tomorrow and talk about the rest of inheritance or the rest that comes from inheritance. God bless you. And you have a great day today. See you in the morning.